Okay, today is class. It's going to be an intermediate. Um, no props, just your body weight and your mat. Um, so let's do this. We're going to go ahead and roll back onto our backs. Finding that neutral spine, I actually want to start with knee sways today. So arms are going to go out to the side. Relax your head, neck, and shoulders. And I want you to inhale as your knees go to the right. And then exhale. Breathe into that stretch. Your head goes the opposite way. Now exhale, come back to center. Take it to the other side. Knees go over, your head switches to the other side. Come back to center. We're going to do it again. To the side, head goes the opposite way. Center, last one. So letting the whole spine twist, such a good way to warm it up. So from here, I want your hands on your abs and you have your neutral spine. No imprinting right now. Take a deep breath in, and exhale. Pull the belly button in, close the rib cage. Again, inhale. Feel everything expand, and then exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Heel drags. Keep neutral spine. Inhale, slide the right leg out. Exhale, drag the heel in. You're going to feel those abs engage. Inhale, slide the leg out. Exhale, drag it in. Inhale, slide it out. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Going into shoulder bridging. Inhale to prepare at the bottom. Exhale, imprint in one vertebrae at a time. Roll it up. Pause at the top to it. Inhale. And then exhale, roll it down. So really slow, waking up your spine, letting it move. Inhale at the bottom. And exhale, roll it up. Relax the head, neck, and shoulders as you roll down. Find that scoop. Last one. Inhale at the top. And exhale, roll down. Going into the roll up, you're going to lengthen your legs out. Inhale as the arms reach up over your head. Exhale, tuck your chin to your chest and curl up off your mat. Inhale, reach over your toes. And then exhale. This is the important part. Drop your shoulders, shift the tailbone, and slowly roll back down. Inhale as the arms go up over your head. Exhale as you curl up. Inhale, reach over your toes. And then exhale, drop your shoulders, and roll back down. Exhale up. Inhale, reach over your toes. And then exhale, roll it down. Bringing the legs to tabletop. We're going to go right into the 100. So upper body curls up off your mat. Strong arms. Inhale for five pulses. If you want to lengthen the legs out a little, you can. Nice 
nice job. Bring those knees into your chest. <sighs> Always gets me warmed up. I love the 100. Okay, single leg stretch. Upper body comes up. Inhale with the right leg. Exhale with the left. So holding those abs in tight. Good, take that down, let that rest. Alternating kicks. So legs go as straight as possible. Big hamstring stretch here. Upper body comes up, <clears throat> you pulse and switch, pulse. And right into the crisscross, so hands behind your head, opposite shoulder to knee. Last one, and then double leg stretch. So pull everything in, we're only gonna do six. Arms and legs lengthen out. <clears throat> Exhale, pull it in. Keep the head, neck, and shoulders in the same spot. And let that down. Onto your side for obliques. You're gonna relax your head on your hand, keeping that down. If you want your hand on the floor for balance, that's okay. If you wanna challenge it, keep the hand on the hip. I'm okay with whatever one is challenging but doable for you. So today we're just gonna start with the lower, or the legs, the lower body. So lift and lower both legs for 10. Breathe with me. Now the upper body, <clears throat> that top arm goes straight. The elbow swings forward and you lift the shoulder. It only comes off just a teeny bit as you stretch that top hand towards your knee. Now we're gonna do both upper body and lower body. So you have to balance on that bottom hip. Everything comes into the air. Feel the burn. And switch sides, nice job. So take it up and over. <laughs> You're on your side, legs go straight. Keep those abs in. We're gonna lift and lower nice and slow for 10. And now the upper body. Top arm goes straight, bottom elbow swings forward and the shoulder lifts off, so abs in, exhale. Now full, balancing on the bottom hip. Exhale as you lift. Upper and body lift. Way to go. Onto your stomach, we're gonna stretch that out. So gently press up onto the elbows. <clears throat> if it hurts your low back to do this, then you're lifting too high. Just lengthen those arms out a little bit. Drop your shoulders down away from your ears and feel that stretch. 
going into the back work, relaxing your head on your hands. We're going to do single leg kick. So you double kick, lift the leg, the hip is still down, lengthen and lower. Switch legs, double kick, lift, keep the hip down, lengthen and lower. Double kick, lift, lengthen, switch. Good, let that rest. Arms come out to the side. We're gonna make that goal post with the arms. Feet stay down. You're going to squeeze your shoulder blades. That's your exhale. If you can, gently lift off the floor. Inhale, lower. Exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades first. And lift. Take it down. One more. Lengthening the arms out over your head. This is the swimmer. You're gonna lift the right arm, left leg. So feel that length. Inhale, lower. Exhale, switch. Inhale, lower. One more each side. And pull back into child's pose. Stretch that out. <clears throat> oh, definitely need this stretch today. Okay, we're gonna go into push-ups next. So a couple thing of th things about push-ups. It's super important to have those abs pulled in tight. I don't care if you go on your knees, but if you are on your knees, make sure you're not here. No butts up. You want to tuck that tailbone under, and as you go down, it's almost like the quads are going to hit the mat, and then you push to come back up. So it's not about your nose getting to the mat. It's about that core tight. Bending the elbow, so from here, tuck the tailbone under. Do that imprinting towards the ceiling. Shoulders are down. Bend the elbows. Exhale, push. Inhale, down. Exhale, push. I'm going to do two more. Now we're going to walk it back into the elephant. So you're going to go up onto the balls of or your feet, flat feet, and then slowly walk it back. Once you're here, you're just gonna hang. I want you to breathe into the hamstrings, the calves, and definitely your back. Okay, take it back out, hand over hand, walk it out. Coming back down onto your knees, that's fine. Now, if you're starting out new with push-ups, and you're not super comfortable going all the way down, I would rather you go an inch movement and keep really good form than to go all the way down and be shifting and going wonky in your push-up. So find that range of motion that is challenging but doable. Here we go. Inhale down. Exhale up. Abs are in. Two more. Now walk it back. Feet go flat. Walk it back. Just hang. I love this stretch. Feels so good. Oh, breathing into it. You're going to go a little bit deeper the second time in that stretch. Last set here. Take it out. Back down on the knees. Find that range of motion for your push-up. 
Inhale as you lower. Exhale as you push. Good. Now stretch that out again, child's pose. Push-ups are hard, so way to go. Okay, going into glute work, I'm gonna be on your side. I want your, your glutes to the back edge of your mat and your feet to the front, so you have kind of a banana shape with your body. You're gonna bring that top leg up to hip height, then we're gonna go right into the kick. So on this, I want you to keep your leg parallel. I don't want your toes up. I want your toes pointing straight forward. Bring the knee into your chest and then kick it up on a high diagonal. Now remember, neutral spine. From the top of your head to your tailbone, I don't want anything to move except this leg. As you do your kicks, that leg is trying to throw your body out of alignment. So your abs and obliques, your back, are engaging, strengthening, to keep your spine from moving. We're gonna do 10. Now the hamstring curl. The hip stays open and you just bend and straighten the knee. are in. Now you're going to bring the feet down. Now turn out. So your toes are going up towards the ceiling. Big kick up and back down. Core tight. Okay, now glute med, internal rotation. So you're gonna bring your leg to hip height and toes down, heel up. Pulse for 10. Now bend your knee, still turned in, and pulse. We're gonna finish it with the clam. So both knees bend, feet come in the air, and you rotate the top knee up. Nice job. Let's take it up and over to the other side. Relaxing down, your glutes to the back edge of the mat, your feet are forward. We're going to start with that kick. So the leg is in parallel, bend the knee into your chest, and then kick it up on the diagonal. So again, abs in, keep that neutral spine. Now hamstring curl, hip stays open, just bend and straighten the knee. Now bring the feet back together, toes turn up towards the ceiling, and that big kick. Now glute med, 
internally rotate, toes down, heel up, and pulse. Bend the knee and pulse. Now the clam, both knees bend, feet are up in the air, and rotate the top leg out open. Nice job. Onto your back. We're going to stretch that out really quick. So you're going to put the ankle on the knee and bring the knees into your chest. It's going to help open up the leg that we just worked. We're going to do both legs here. So go ahead and switch. Now going into the glute work, hamstrings and glutes, we're going to do bridge work. Now before we start this, if at any point you start to feel that hamstring grab or start to grab, stop, kick your leg straight up in the air to stretch it out. The last thing we want is a big cramp in the hamstring when we're working out. So from here, hands are on the floor. You're going to roll all the way up into that bridge, keeping that flat back. We're going to take the hips halfway down and then squeeze and lift. Halfway down. So keep those abs in. You're going to feel this right here, right where the hamstrings and glutes connect and come together. Now holding that bridge. The goal on this one is to not let your hips shift or move. So you're going to plant one foot, lengthen the other leg out. So you're in a full line. Bring it down, switch legs. So we're not taking the leg up into the air, we're just lengthening, lengthening it out. So from your shoulder all the way to your toes, you have one long line. Bring it down, switch. Last one. Now stay in that bridge. Squeeze those glutes. And you're going to reach the arms up over your head and back down to the hips. So the legs just hold. Abs are in. Last one. And roll down. Going into the teaser, pull those abs in. We're going to bring the legs to tabletop to start. I want you to exhale. If you need to use your hands on the first few to come up, that's okay. So exhale. Come up into that V. Now from here, let go. Nice. And slowly roll back down. Here we go. Exhale up. That exhales your power. And down. Find that length through your spine. Open the chest and take it down. Now, if you can, come up without holding on to the legs. Find your balance and back down. Legs can stay tabletop the whole time. Opening the chest. Exhale. Okay, now because we're going to keep the legs at tabletop, I want you to rotate both knees to one side. So it's kind of an oblique version of the teaser. Upper body still comes up center, but you feel that difference. Now take it down. We're going to do three. Now switch sides. Upper body center. Just the knees on the diagonal. 
Now one more straight forward, and this time we're gonna lengthen those legs out as we come up. Hold, hold, go with that shake, and roll it down. Nice job. Okay, we're gonna do the roll over. So hands can always help support the hips if you need to. Arms are down on your mat, your legs are up. You're going to exhale as your feet go up and over your head into the plow. Now, if you have any kind of neck issue, please don't do this one. Do knee sways instead, okay? So side to side instead of the rollover, if any issues with your neck. So those that are ready to go, exhale. Feet go up and over, use those hands on the hips. Inhale as your legs go shoulder width apart. And then exhale, slowly roll back down. Legs come back together. Exhale, up and over into the plow. Legs go shoulder width apart and slowly unroll. Legs come back together, up and over. Into the plow. We're gonna do just one more. Up and over. And unroll. Nice job. Okay, coming up into side plank. We're gonna do the first five with the knee down. If you can, instead of having that top hand on the floor for balance, try to keep the hand on the hip. So the knee is down, the top leg is straight. You're gonna tap the hip towards the floor. Stretch it up to the ceiling. So. Now you're gonna go up onto both feet. Five more. So both legs lengthen and tap the hip. Now hold at the top for five, four, Three, two, one. Nice, I feel the shoulder shake, I love it. Other side, starting with the knee down. Top leg is straight. Gonna tap the hip towards the floor and lift. Now up onto both feet. Now we're gonna hold for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down, nice job. I wanna do the side stretch next. So both legs are going in one direction. You're gonna come down on the elbow and stretch it over. And then we're gonna take it all the way over to the other side. Huge side stretch here. And take it over. And switch. One more. Oh, feels so great. All right, we're gonna bring the legs to the other side and do it again. So down onto the elbow, we stretch it up over and then across. Oh man, I feel that. Take it over. And across. Last one. And up. Oh, beautiful. Definitely, definitely needed that stretch today. Okay, coming back down. We're gonna do just a few more stretches here. So I want you to bring your right knee into your chest and lengthen the left leg out. From here, pull that belly button in and relax your shoulders. Just let that hip open, hip flexor. And if you want, you can take the knee you're holding to the side. That will change your stretch just a little bit. So breathe into that. Let's go ahead and switch legs. Lengthen the other leg out. Pull the knee in. Open the front of the hip. 
take it to the side. Coming back to center. We're going to flatten one foot, take the other leg straight up in the air. Keeping the knees straight, gently pull the leg towards you. Let's switch. Take it up and stretch. Now the figure four, ankle on the knee, bring the knees into your chest, give it a hug. I'm gonna feel that open, feel it stretch. Switch legs. Okay, bringing the feet down, you're going to slowly walk your feet off your mat. And from here, both knees go to one side. With your feet wide, that helps open up that quad and hip flexor. Make sure your shoulders stay flat on your mat. And if you don't feel it, to deepen it, just wiggle your foot away from your mat. And that should deepen your stretch. We'll switch sides. So from here, to deepen it, you just wiggle that foot away and kind of up towards your head. And then you'll really feel that so good. Okay, back to center. We're going to come up. We're going to do a twist through the spine. So lengthening through the top of your head, you're going to put one hand against the opposite knee and look over that back shoulder. Untwisting, let's go to the other side. Pushing gently against the knee. Look back behind you. And one more each side. Last one. There we go. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.